Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Coming up next is an industry presentation by Mr. Tej Bhatla, Vice President and Head, Public Services Business Unit, India Data Consultancy Services. I am very pleased to be participating in this conference, ET Government Transforming Orissa. Although I am participating virtually, but I am very happy to be here. Uh, it's a great pleasure for us to cooperate and partner with Government of Orissa in various initiatives. Before I talk about uh, the TCS and government business and TCS and government business in Orissa, I want to spend a couple of minutes on TCS presence in Urissa. Um, we've been there for almost a few decades now. Uh, we have almost a large campus with a capacity of almost 5,000 uh, seats and about 6,000 professionals working in Urissa uh, in Bhuvaneshwar. Um, they are working with various global clients and you know we've been getting excellent support from government of Orissa, uh, you know, in, in our operations, and we are very pleased to be present in Orissa. Uh, we also have, uh, you know, capacity to add another, you know, 4,000 seats in that building. And, you know, as the business grows, we will keep our presence growing in Orissa. Um, let me introduce myself and the business that I look after. So. My name is Tej Paul Bhatla. I look after the government business for TCS. Um, when I say government business, it's, it's basically both central and state governments. And uh, we've been working with various government agencies, uh, central government departments, state governments to make India a more uh, connected India, a more digital India, and a more self-reliant India. So if I touch upon some of the initiatives, we've been associated with the Ayushman Bharat program from the beginning of the uh, project. It's been a very, very satisfying experience for TCS. Uh, we, we worked with India Post to take the, uh, you know, the, the, connectivity for the India to the last mile, you know, to the to the rural through the rural post offices by taking, uh, you know, uh, a mobile uh, in, in, in the hand of the Dakia and, you know, increasing the reach to every nook and corner of India. We've done some recently some highly transforming programs. Uh, for example, you know, everybody is familiar with passport program that TCS runs, but we've also done uh, uh, a, a transformation at DGCA recently, for example. Uh, it's, been a, it's been always driven by digital technologies at the core of these transformations so that India becomes more capable, India becomes more uh, self-reliant and citizens get the best experience and a most efficient experience uh, when they interact with government agencies. You know, it, it, it gives us a tremendous pride when we say that, you know, we almost touch a billion lives through various initiatives that uh, TCS has done for the governments um, across various uh, central government ministries and state governments. I just want to spend a couple of minutes on what we've done for Orissa uh, through the Oshwas program, right? Uh, this is one of the best implementations of um, the office automation, digitization, workflow management, uh, that kind of system um, that has been done by any state uh, in India. You know, many states have implemented different kinds of solutions to transform the way the government works uh, in its day-to-day -day operations. But I think Orissa definitely stands out as the best example 
of how that has been achieved uh, through the OSHWAS program, which has been uh, implemented using TCS's IP uh, called TCS DigiGov. I think it has brought a lot of uh, operational efficiency, transparency, uh, ease of doing business for citizens. So, you know, a, a, a huge set of benefits that have, you know, been, uh, that have come for various stakeholders uh, through the OSHWAS programs. So I'm very, 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 very satisfied with how we have, you know, achieved or helped help the government of Orissa to transform its day-to-day -day operations. Now, what uh, since the theme of this uh, conference is about, you know, um, transfer tra transforming government operations in Orissa uh, even further, right? I think what has been achieved through uh, OSHWAS and some of the other programs that we have done, for example, the, the Mission Shakti program, which was to help the uh, women self-help groups, etc. So those programs have already delivered some kind of benefits to the government of Orissa. But what more can be done? So when we look at, uh, you know, um, India as a country, I think there are the, the, the next set of growth or the priorities from a government perspective, uh, there are five themes that are very, very clearly emerging. Uh, the first one being the self-reliant or Atam Nirbhar Bharat. So we can see that, you know, there'll be a lot of uh, focus on uh, doing, creating digital solutions, which make India self-reliant, right? Um, many states have already implemented or are in the process of implementing what we call as ease of doing business initiatives, right? I think uh, at the central government level through the national single window portal and through the EODB portals implemented at different uh, uh, various states, uh, a lot more can be done and you know, uh, it, it can make uh, life easier for both uh, citizens as well as you know investors, businessmen to spend money on the projects which the government of Orissa prioritizes. I think that's something which can be looked at. We are seeing a lot of initiatives through central government on smart cities and citizen services. I think uh, initial phase of smart cities where a lot of investments have gone in in terms of uh, you know creating the infrastructures to so that you know um, uh, at least the bare the, the kind of uh, physical assets uh, are created and that has been achieved to a large extent i think the next phase from a smart cities perspective to make the cities really smart will come through integrated command and control centers so that you know any any problems anywhere uh, you know whether it is to to do with potholes on the road or traffic congestion or anything that that uh, causes any kind of inconvenience to the citizens can be quickly identified and you know um, quickly uh, um, seen on a central dashboard and action can be initiated immediately right so that's something that that we hope we'll see a lot of traction going forward. Uh, healthcare will continue to be priority. I think, you know, uh, uh, both India as a country and, and the entire world, we've gone through a very difficult phase in the last couple of years because of COVID. Uh, so which has brought, you know, uh, inclusive healthcare to the forefront. I think uh, I do understand that, you know, the government of Orissa is already uh, uh, participating in the Ayushman Bharat program. But I think uh, the next phase would be to create a digital infrastructure through the National Digital Health Mission uh, as to giving even more power to the citizens to take care of their health, right? I think uh, that it's an excellent initiative which is going to connect um, the, the uh, healthcare service providers, the citizens, diagnostic labs, 
etc everybody onto a single platform and uh, bring india towards uh, universal healthcare very very rapidly uh, associated with the healthcare are you know the systems related to um, you know cleanliness and uh, the general uh, uh, wellness of people so i think that's where uh, uh, you know some of the initiatives like using artificial intelligence to detect uh, you know whether a particular uh, let's say uh, take an example of of a toilet whether it is clean or not clean uh, is something that can be that that can be done easily using the technologies available today and you know we have examples in some states where such a thing has been done so i think um, uh, agriculture and environment also will continue to play an important role going forward i think uh, uh, if we talk in terms of technologies i think uh, you know analytics insights uh, those kind of technologies have been in uh, play for quite a while now but i think going forward 5g is going to play a big role uh, cyber security is going to become very very important uh, particularly when governments start adopting cloud platforms and cloud solutions um, those are the so lot of these things are uh, already mature technology and some of them are maturing as we speak and i think a lot of benefits can be driven through these technologies um one of the technologies which we would uh, you know we we have been uh, leveraging for several of our solutions for our state governments um uh, is our own ip tcs is intellectual property uh, called digigov uh, this is a solution which comes in multiple offerings i think i already spoke about ease of doing business the office automation in oswas but uh, it also offers solutions for you know track and trace for uh, finance management at the state level for um, law and order uh and land registration and others so i think lot of um out of the box solutions are available which we would uh, uh which we would be happy to bring to any anybody who wants to implement such a solution in orissa uh, and other states uh we've had a, a good uh, uh experience of uh, working with government of orissa i think uh, you know i i i read somewhere in the conference papers that you know the orissa government believes in uh, uh 5 t's which is you know technology transparency um teamwork um and transformation which is time driven etc so i think we are very happy to see those initiatives and i think uh, we feel that you know we are we are happy to be already the partners for government of orissa in some of the initiatives like oshwas mission shakti etc but we are happy to look at any other opportunities which come uh, either in optimizing the current uh, operations and business processes uh, or something which needs to be transformed or some or to grow uh, the businesses and you know bring ease of doing business um, uh for for citizen of so for uh, businesses and citizens for government of orissa uh i am very happy to be here and uh, wish success to everybody who is participating in this conference thank you mr batla for such an interesting session stay tuned ladies and gentlemen for the next session